excitement is building for the holiday weekend. Barbecues, beaches, and the great big booms will mark a many Fourth of July celebration. But with it, some important warnings and extra safety measures also in place. Action News reporter Felix Cortez is live in Hollister with what they're doing to get ready for the big bike rally in that town. Well, Aaron, Dan, the only noise coming from downtown Hollister is the sound of the weekly farmer's market. But beginning tomorrow, all that could change as we begin to hear the roar as thousands of bikers begin to invade this town. The stage is being set for another 4th of July biker rally in downtown Hollister. The vendors are setting up and the excitement is building. Hollister is the biker capital of California. And we, we get a lot of different bike groups here, and we look forward to it every year. It's always been great for the community, but this year could be really special. I'm thinking it's going to be really good. This year, the rally has a new promoter and new name, the Hollister Freedom Rally. We just want to make sure we have a safe, sane event. Uh, second to that, we have a lot of cool vendors, especially food guys. Uh, it should have a real festival atmosphere. The promoter is bringing back rock concerts, a photo tower, biker beauty contest and poker runs. With the fourth falling on a weekend, the event is expected to draw huge crowds. Downtown businesses love the sound of that. I think it's going to definitely mean a lot more business for us. Um, it's going to be uh, you know, a lot more customers that are very happy. It gives us an opportunity to have um, new people try the product and uh, come into our spot. And obviously it helps out with the entire community as well. Rally safety also a big concern this year. The police chief says he has to keep in mind what happened in Waco, Texas last month where a biker brawl left nine dead. Downtown security cameras will be closely monitored at three command centers and Hollister police are getting backup from a number of federal, state, and local agencies. To take care of emergencies, um, take care of you know, medical stuff, as soon as we can, um, but we also want to be part of the landscape. You know, our our idea is is that you come here, enjoy the event, you know, and and you go home and you're and you're happy. Well, also as a safety precaution, just two weeks ago, the city council approved an emergency order that requires all beer and alcohol sales to end by midnight during the event. But I really want to get back to the entertainment that will be rocking this week and a couple of showcase bands that you may be familiar with, Aaron. Friday night, we're going to have the uh, fabulous Thunderbirds uh, rocking the town. Uh, that will be followed by uh, the uh, Guess Who on Saturday night. They're going to close out this event, so it should be a rocking and roaring 4th of July weekend down here in downtown Hollister. Going to be a good time, sure, for sure. Oh, thank, thanks, Felix. The Hollister Freedom Rally, the new name, officially kicks off Friday morning and will run through Sunday afternoon.